I'm gonna show you how to run a very log module in Sidelinks. You can also use the same steps to run a VHDL module. So let's go ahead and open the uh, Project Navigator program. Go ahead and close this tip of the day window. Go to File, New Project. And from here, select your working directory and your location. Let's go ahead and give our project a name. Click Next. In this project settings window, you can specify settings for your FPGA. If you are planning to upload this code to an FPGA, what you want to do is learn VHDL or Verilog or just simply test your modules. You don't have to worry about the settings. Go ahead and click Next and Finish. Go ahead and on the left panel, right click on your uh, project's name in the folder. So I'm going to right click example project, select new source and from here we can either choose a Verilog module or VHDL module. I'm going to go ahead and select Verilog and give my module a name. Let's go ahead and make a 3 input OR gate. So I'm going to name my module file accordingly. Make sure Add to Project is selected. Click Next. The use of this window is optional. It lets you set up the headers of your module. So like which uh, variables you want you want them to be input, which do you want for output. Like I said, we're going to have three different inputs. I'm going to call this one I1, I2, and I3, one for each input. And I'm going to call my output gate output. And from the direction, I'm going to select output for that port name, gate output. Click next finish so the program has generated a basic module code let's create the OR gate with the three inputs Now that our module is finished, let's go ahead and create a test bench or a text fixture as it is known in Verilog. Don't forget to save this by you doing Control S or by clicking this save button. So to create the stimulus file, right click on your folder name, new source. For Verilog, we're going to need a test fixture. If you're doing VHDL, you need a test bench. So, test fixture for Verilog, and I'm going to call this file Stimulus. Select Add to Project. Click Next. Now, from here, if we had any other modules, we will be given the option of selecting those, but since we only have one, then that's the one we have to select and click next and finish. So now Silinx has generated this stimulus file with a time scale and some setup code. So notice that it has declared my inputs and my outputs using the same uh, variable name. 
that I used in my module but of course in the stimulus file you can use a different name for those variables it has also instantiated my three input OR gate module with the name UUT and of course it has passed it all the inputs and outputs that it requires it also initialized my inputs so let's go ahead and add some stimulus to the module so after 50 units of time let's change input 1 to 1 after another 50 let's change it back to 0 and after 60 let's change input 3 to 1 now let's go ahead and monitor the output So this should take care of my stimulus file. Now to run this file, select simulation from this left panel. Select your stimulus file. Open this drop down menu and double click on simulate behavioral model. So this window should open and you're going to see the output from my monitoring statement in here. So for when all the inputs are zero, my output is zero. My output is one when at least one of the inputs is one, which will be in this case and also this case. And that is how you can simulate or test a Verilog or VHDL module in Silinx. Thank you for watching.